The Cold Within by James Patrick Kinney. Six humans trapped by happenstance in bleak and bitter cold. Each one possessed a stick of wood or so the story is told. Their dying fire in need of logs but the first man held his back. For the faces round the fire, he noticed one was black. The next man, looking across the way, saw one, not of his church, and couldn't bring himself to give the fire his stick of birch. The third one sat in tattered clothes. He gave his coat a hitch. Why should his log be put to use to warm the idle rich? The rich man just sat back and thought of the wealth that he had in store and how to keep what he had earned from the lazy, shiftless poor. And the black man's face bespoke revenge as the fire passed from his sight for all he saw in his stick of wood was a chance was a chance to spite the white the last man of this fallen group did not except for gain giving only to those who gave was how he played the game their logs held tight in death's Still hand was proof of human sin. They did not die from the cold without, they died from the cold within. What a beautiful poem this is. It tells you about all the things that divide men, all the things that men uh, hold in prejudice against each other. In the first verse, the man wouldn't share his he was obviously white because he saw the face of a black man in the group of six and he wasn't willing to share his stick of wood even if it were going to keep him alive a little longer he wasn't willing to share it because he didn't want to share with the black man the second man he saw someone who was not of his religion and he was not willing to share with anyone not from his religion or his community. In the third stanza, there was a poor man who was so bitter that he would not share his stick because he did not want to give one inch of, his, of himself or what was his to the rich. He was so bitter about being poor. The fourth guy was a rich man. And he was not willing to share anything of his because he looked at poor people as idle, lazy, shiftless, not worth giving anything to. The next stanza says the black man was so bitter and so full of hatred and revenge that he would not do anything that would benefit a white man. And so he too would not share his stick. And in the last line, oh sorry, yes, and then there was in stanza seven, we have the guy who will not do anything unless someone else, unless you do something for him, he will not do something for you. Quid pro quo. So because no one else put their stick, he wouldn't put his stick either. In the last stanza, they tell us that they found them all dead with the sticks of wood in their hands. And the poet says they did not die from the cold outside, but they died because their hearts had frozen into stone. Their lack of love or care or empathy or compassion for each other was so dead that in their hatred, they couldn't even do something for themselves. They would rather die then benefit someone that they didn't think worthy. Isn't that a terribly sad poem? It's a good lesson for life. 
Thank you for listening.